tripping over Mystery Gang. Was looking for that one there. So uh, both the series in game two. This is the one we're covering here. And into the draft we go. I'm joined by Rogrosti once again. That's my co-caster here. Look at that. We were talking about it last game. And sure enough, they end up going it here. We get the Midas. We get the Prophet. I wonder if they're going to go Riptide even. Uh, a off. Maybe. There's always that chance. But Doctor's always a good pick, right? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Well, and Clanks was up. Clanks is still up, actually. But I guess I, I don't know. I don't know if Formless is big into the whole Clanks. I've kind of been talking to him about it lately, but I don't know if he's too big into it. But Doctor is his go-to carry at this point, so it's you know it's never bad. Yeah. But Cthulhu, they picked it without seeing the Parasite, which is kind of interesting. And Cthulhu's not a bad hero, but you know, really the whole point is to pick it into the Parasite. Yeah, I... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say he's a bad hero either, but exactly. It's Unless there's an Ophelia... Uh, wow. <laughs> unless there's a Parasite or oh, maybe okay. an Ophelia, yeah. then then sure. But, man, his line stun, it's not easy to land. Like, his ultimate's very underwhelming. It, it's just that's what makes him over at least pickable, in my opinion, is that counter to a Parasite and Ophelia, being able to just eat those creeps very quickly. So... I think it's a little yeah. silly here, but we'll see how they make yeah. it work. Maybe they have an idea behind it. You never know. I mean, right now they do have the Moira, which is a great setup ulti for Cthulhu and also Fade. So, I mean, it, it, it could end up working out, but I, I, they could have just preemptively picked it, you know, not wanting them to get Parasite. But even then, it's just, it's still, eh. Yeah. Just eh. Eh. All right, well, we'll see how they do it here. Fade again, that final pick with the Moira initially even, so... Um, we got fourth pick now going to be coming out here for the side of complexity. After this final ban eventually happens, Dark Lady Moraxis, Silhouette, Lodestone, and Puppet Master are the bans overall. Uh, by the way, I do see people talking about, you know, oh, you should cast the other series and everything. Um, well, one is, you know, again, the if this for whatever, if it does end quickly or, you know, if it seems like it's just being drawn out, then we will jump into the other series. But uh, two is there is actually somebody else casting the other series. Uh, 99 underscore wins, a, uh, a, new, uh, a newer caster on the scene. He's kind of been getting involved. So you can check out his stream if you like. Uh, he is casting the Evil Corporation versus Mystery Gang series. And in general, the other one that we're not here today. So feel free to check that out if you would like. But uh, yeah. we're going to be sticking with this one for now at least. And he's a really nice guy. If you guys actually haven't talked to him or been in his stream, he, you know, he's, he's actually a pretty good guy. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Good luck to whoever's in the mid lane. <laughs> That's <laughs> so, all I'm going to say. <laughs> so Reason Gaming clearly was not listening to our cast because they no. did not ban it. So it actually is funny that right-clicking the Devo um, – Devo is the one hero that actually stands up to that lane. It's it's pretty hard to kill the Devo because the Devo has the built-in. Uh, he does get magic armor at level one now, I believe. Oh, yeah. No, he, does, no, he doesn't get magic he doesn't, armar, but he but gets, he gets the, the charges. Gets the skill. Okay. But even then, you know, he's he's tanky enough to. You just need that big, tanky strength hero to sit in the mid lane. So you know, Devo's a good one. Any hero that can just tank, and uh, you know, I just happen to know that Devo did pretty well when I tried the lane in TMM. So. Um, yeah, it's a good hero, but it's not something you just want to pick into it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, they are right-clicking it here, so. It is a possibility. Very they possible. want last pick. They maybe want a jungler, or they could do another tri-lane. It's kind of up to them. But no, I mean, they probably, I mean, they won't, because the Prophet's going to go mid with the Riptide, most likely. So, we'll have to see what they pick for what you got. He goes there, then, yeah, so either that secondary support or the jungle. I mean, like, a Tempest is still on the board. Although Arcane Vortex and Moira can be annoying. Yeah, it's hard to deal with. Uh, they do have a good team, though, for Tempest. They have a lot of AoE presence with the Tempest, so it's it's not a bad yeah, pick. Profit Tempest seems like a good synergy. Well, I would like to see the Berserker from them. <laughs> the support Berserker coming out? <laughs> I just want to see it for you, Breaky. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to see we're it. gonna see it though. I want to see it, you know, right. So, <laughs> I'll, but, I'll try to make that happen for you. Yeah, I would appreciate it. <laughs> okay, they go Revenant here. Um, Option. I'm kind of confused where they're putting that. 
Huh. I think it's just going to be our secondary support here, and then probably with the doctor and babysit. Yeah, he might just sit bot with the doctor. It's not bad, but I, I kind of don't like when Revenant doesn't get farm. I like when he gets, you know, the early Hellflower and yeah. cause a lot of havoc, you know, with those early big items. So it's, uh, it's, it's still not bad, though. It's still a decent hero. I'm not sure what the Hellborn. They need their carry. I'm not really sure what they want. Uh, they have a Luna. I mean, she can bring some carry presence if they wanted that option. But... Yeah, if they want to run him as the mid laner, which I, I think that is... Oh, they could still run Fade as a mid laner, too. They, they have a lot of options here. I mean, I, I'm almost tempted to say they should go, you know, like a Shadow Blade or a big tanky, you know, carry presence. Because that other team is going to... They're going to burst real quick. Real quick. Not tanky. Not sure how I feel about that Valkyrie pick. Um, Arrow's mid lane is always nice if they, you know, Riptide happens to catch one, but it's their team is very squishy against this Legion team that's heavy burst. Yeah. So um, if they land it right though, and they win, you know, maybe two out of the three lanes, they they have a good chance though. So oh. hopefully that's just what ends up happening. My gosh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> What happened? Chat's gonna freak out here. So I had it on the versus screen that whole time. <laughs> they, they could hear us telling them what it was, but yeah, okay. Well, let me prepare chat. Give me a second. Okay, I forgot to switch screens, guys. During draft, don't hate me, love. I switch it for when we get in game. All right, there we go. Uh, it just proves that you know it happens to the best of us. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. We're good well. now. Okay. Okay, into the game we go. I'll ignore chat for the next six minutes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the final pick Valkyrie. So again, where does she end up? I, I really am excited to see this profit riptide. It just so happened we we're talking about it and something tells me that might have been a little influence for this this draft here, this game, but now he's bottom currently actually, so maybe they're expecting a tri lane. Ooh, this would be interesting. Yeah. I think Prophet might have saw two heroes, or Revenant did, because they're, they're avoiding it pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe they are just going to... Yeah, they did pull the... Okay, yeah, they are going to tri-lane bottom. They pulled the Riptide. So they actually are going to tri-lane versus tri-lane down here, because I think that's what the Hellborn team is going to do. Wow. They're Ooh. really trying to make a kill happen right here. And actually, Valkyrie... Has no leap. She is in a little bit of trouble. She's going to end up falling for the Bloodlust kill. Revenant does chase her down. All five down here. I mean, it started with the oh. arrow miss. You saw Moira diving in. The trample does connect, but now Moira's going to fall. What you got? He's going to eat through the trees. Is he actually going to escape? Are you kidding me? The health potion. He's going to be fine. Yeah, this is just atrocious here. Oh. <laughs> We're on the health point side. And worse, Cthulhu level, Trample level 1, and they got nothing out of it. Yeah. I... That, um... Uh, well... Don't. Well, 5 second arrow. Uh, it's 5 second arrow, but now everyone's gone. <laughs> okay, so... And Fade's gonna die. I don't know what that was about. Yep, she goes down, Valkyrie is gonna get away. And, you know, I was gonna say, meanwhile, the other lane's free farming currently. <laughs> yep, Midas is stop all by himself. Um, yeah, that was, that was probably the worst possible thing that could have happened, other than all five of them dying. Yeah. I, it couldn't have gotten much worse than that. Um, I think they now need to avoid this lane, and they need to maybe leave Valkyrie here alone, and move Moira somewhere else, because the tri-lane versus tri-lane is just not going to work. Mm -hmm. They're just going to lose at this point. Uh, Revenant's already level two. Doctor's kind of just going to free farm down here. There's not much they can do to contest it anymore, so. Yeah. If they choose to fight it, it's... Oh. <laughs> Fade just running oh. in, just throwing the stun out. But, I mean, they may have killed Prophet right here, but Fade definitely committed to death. And, yep, she will go down. Down goes Prophet. So, at least finally a kill for the Hellborn side. But now Valkyrie again. Still no, Still leap. no leap. She's level one. And she will fall as well. So, clearly that trade not worth it whatsoever. Clearly Reason Gaming just has this very aggressive mindset here going into game number two. And just uh, just simply trying to say, you know, the only way we're going to be able to beat you guys is just by going complete YOLO. Well, 
it's not working out so far to start. But <laughs> also lose you games very fast. Yes. Um. Yeah, it's. I do think they just need to get get out of this lane. I mean, Doctor's 650 GPM. Obviously, that's not going to hold, but he's going to have Steam Boots. At, oh, he goes straight Pickle Brain. So he's going to have an incredibly early mana ring, probably before he even gets level 6. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he already has it. Two minute, two minute 15 mana ring. It's, uh, it's going to be problems for them down here. Yep. That's pretty ridiculous to have, not only for himself, but for the team. And look at Minus here, top lane. Now, Fade's tank of the creep wave as well. She's definitely going to die right here. And actually, the Luna is also in a lot of trouble. I'm pretty sure she's going to die. Oh. Maybe not the Parath, though. Yeah, he needed oh, to yeah, dodge that. He tried to. Well, he does get the counter kill, but he is taken out in the end. So, I mean, I guess he's still overall satisfied with that. Yeah, always the two for one is never bad, especially when you're suiciding. Yeah. And he bought something because he's sitting at 380 GPM with only 500 gold. So, oh, he bought his bottle. Okay, he's his bottle already if he wants to. Oh, middle lane, meanwhile. Get through the font. Also in a lot of trouble right here. He is going to Ooh. live. That was close. That was a little curious decision by Fuzzy Sloth. I guess, you know, it did also affect the ramp on the uphill. As, by the way, bottom lane, Marcus Point goes down. And now Fade is also... Oh, we got Ooh. the stun, though, on a Revenant, but it's still not enough Only damage. level one. Yeah. And he's going to get away. Uh, <laughs> the GPF chart, everyone's better farm on the Legion side than anyone on the Hellborn team. Oh. Yeah, when your uh, support profit is sitting at 240 GPM, that's going to be a good game. Yeah. Yeah, again, uh, as I was pointing out right there, a little curious. I mean, he, he used his In My Element as he's in the river right here. So, I, I mean, unless I'm missing something, I don't think that actually does anything. No, so. it's, I think he might, he might have wanted to use it up more, but he kind of just happened to use it. It's such a low cooldown now that it's actually spammable. True. Yeah, only 20 seconds. Bugs. I was Bugs. surprised to see them buff that, man. It used to be yeah, 45 I, seconds. Yeah, I think it was a little bit too weak. But I also think they might have done, you know, overdone it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, and meanwhile, top. It doesn't stop here in this game. Uh, no, the it's not going to stop because they have a revenant that you know is now just going to run around and Valkyrie's going to die. Oh, dodged it. Never mind. Not going to die. Yeah. Good leap. He actually has a leap now, being level two. <laughs> That's good. Oh, they. Turn kill and the Doctor Pulse again. It's not not the most Don't levels though, so the damage, yeah, it's very weak right now. Profit can help turn kill and a fade Hellfot. and Doctor of Pulse are actually gonna live with the health pot tick. Getting away. Meanwhile, top lane, the action continues. A Luna's gonna fall again. And so you know I mentioned at the beginning of this game, guys, uh, that if this just gets out of hand quickly, you know, maybe we could jump into the other series. So we're going to give this one a little bit longer here, but it is looking like this could be a very, very quick game for complexity. Yeah, definitely. In game two, of course. So. Right. Oh, they're trying it again bottom. Uh, it doesn't work the first five times. Try a sixth time. Oh, and the arrow misses, and Fade is going to die, and this is going to give Doctor a level six. Oh, oh he went for taunt. Wow. He went for taunt instead of last hit. <laughs> Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess. He still, uh, and now he's dead, because yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he better type TY in chat right now. Yep, yeah, it's, it's coming. Uh, oh, Formless isn't the most BM player, so on, he Formos. might not. Have. It's perfect opportunity. This is his chance. Nope, he's just too nice. How could he play Han and be too nice? You know what? It's funny. Even when I TMM with him, he doesn't really talk in game. It's, it's, he's pretty quiet most of the time. Yeah. That's why, you know, he always dodges your interviews. <laughs> Dodger. Hey, co casted the other day. That's that true. Fun. I didn't see him co cast. Yeah. So, but he still dodges the interviews, though. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. All right. So, again, we'll, we'll give it to about 10. We'll, we'll, we'll gauge at 10 minutes here uh, what things yeah. are looking like. But uh, we'll, we'll stick in this one at least a little bit longer. Like I said, at least the other one is at least being casted. So, it's not like there's nobody yeah. watching it. So, if you really did want to. But complexity well on their way to going two and zero here. Clearly, Reason Gaming did a kind of an old inish idea of really aggressive from the beginning, and it well, is Fade not gone spawned. as planned. And now Fade is also going to be spotted here, and he may survive actually, at least initially here. Yep, he'll be fine. Riptide doesn't have his eye of the storm, so can't use that to help get away, and is going to still survive because he gets in the water. And manages to run. Revenant, not so lucky. Water doesn't do much for him. He so, will go down there. 
Uh, Fuzzy Soft didn't pop his DD to start that, and that's why Fade didn't die. Oh. So, uh, I, I don't know. But it's still working out, but. Oh, boy. Oh, and there's the Mario Party. Yeah. Playing the mini games. There we go. Awesome. And I'm about to pause, okay. Oh, awesome maybe they need to talk to some. Strap. <laughs> Love phone. All right, all right. We'll 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 use this as the time to jump into the other series. Yeah, yeah they're they're even saying they literally concede. So <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's go yeah. ahead. Okay. Uh, you do need to access actually, so let me do that real quickly. Okay, let me know when I get it. I'll swap uh, over. Give me a second a here. Ooh. Let's jump into the other one. I mean, to be fair, this one may not be much different. <laughs> Again, the evil corporation. Well, it's it's a closer game at least right now. The first game, yeah. All I'm right. monitoring it right now, so. All right, if you relog, go ahead and no, relog no. now, then you should have it. Yep. I'm going to jump into the boys game. Didn't join off one of those players. Let me update the overlay real quickly. So what do we got here? This is who's on the Easy Legion Mystery mess. Gang. Yep. Mystery Gang is down to one nothing. Evil Corporation on the Hellborn. Okay. So this is the other series that was going on here. So jumping into this one here, the Good States Scan Evil Corporation up one game to nothing here. So just updating in the graphic. There we go. We're officially good. So jumping into this one out, this one's about 20 and a half minutes in. And, yeah, it actually is pretty close, honestly. So definitely a much closer game we got going yeah. here. Interesting stuff to talk about off the bat that's noteworthy is Imba Boy playing Arachna. Yeah. That's fun. You know, it's funny when I think of Imba Boy, I think of that ranged carry, and he just loves the ranged carries. So, mm -hmm. Arachna's never bad. He just goes Thunderclaw and just farms with it. So, uh, yeah, it's actually a fun hero to see, too. You know, he was kind of the sleeper hero for me with this latest big balance patch. I brought it up several times that not a whole lot of people I felt were talking about Arachna when it came to all these changes. You know, there's a lot of hype around certain heroes like a Pearl or whatnot, you know, the Riptide. And, these other ones that we haven't even seen, like the Wilds, uh, just things that we've definitely seen. But Arachna, we've seen a couple of times, and we've kind of been able to witness that to an extent. But, man, the change to her precision, the the single target damage now that she has potentially capable of doing, it's pretty absurd. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's... Oh, middle lane, Midas. Yeah, he gets Ooh. caught. So level, that's a level two puzzle box. He, oh. Why doesn't he have level 3 yet? 22 minutes. What did he do? Oh, and bot Oh, okay. Collapsed on the bot lane. Yeah, caught that. Right. That was just coming in, helping to set up a kill with the post haste. So trying to figure out... They do have a Tempest. Okay, so I, I like actually both teams drops. They're both really, you know, pretty good. Other than, you know, the Iraq is kind of the unconventional pick, but it's still a great hero, and it's great against Swiftblade. Because, you know, when he's spinning, that, that spider's still going to be slow and you really can't move. Yeah. Her uh, her W is also, again, the chain especially, you see right there, coming into play. If, yeah. she, if she's stunned, she can use it. Now she does this. Look at that spider sting, man. Ooh. Tempest, they need to kill that. They wow. finally will, but you just see the potential of the spider sting. If Boy would have hit him once, I think he would have died. Probably. Honestly. Yeah, with so the web I, shot. I, and, yeah, the Thunderclub, yeah, definitely would have been a kill. But, you know, better to get out and, you know, not risk a death. But... Uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. I, I like both teams' drafts. I think both teams actually have a pretty good chance of winning this game. I didn't really watch laning phase, but I'm assuming it was pretty even other than Arachno, you know, having five kills. Mm -hmm. But yeah. even then, they do still have the Swift Blade, and Swift Blade is a hard carry in itself. Yeah, it seems like his farm's been overall pretty damn solid. 410 co per minute, middle lane, Magnus. Does have the Invis here, Embry looking for an opportunity. Uh, level 2 eruption, not off cooldown yet, so really kind of just cutting right now, but nope. Okay, mm. that catapult, man, the, the team's hating that catapult right now because <laughs> it gave away that they saw him. Yep. Wait, uh, oh, and Pyro almost has a tablet. Mir's doing really well right now, actually. Keeping good vision up and having almost a tablet. Yeah. Yeah, so he chose to go the Drunken Master route, by the way, too. Yeah. I. So, yeah, Zane definitely suicided that. Wow, and he's doing really well, too. Zane's a great suicide player, though, so you know, really whatever he picks is normally going to do well. Yeah. Or he'll have some impact on the game, whatever you know it might be. And they're just going to push bottom, it looks like. Oh, and Arachna went. 
uh, armor boots. I was going to talk about that. I was going to look at the armor boots. Oh, wow. That is different. Okay. Um, I wonder if he was landing, if that Deadwood was maybe suicide. I don't think so, but that would look like the only reason he might have went it. Because I'm not else. What? I'm not really sure why he'd go it other than leaning against Deadwood and just not, you know, having the armor. Seems a little odd, but whatever it is, he has them. Yeah, I mean, between Swiftland and Deadwood, there is a lot of physical here. You do see Deadwood throws all the rotten grass, then forward to keep out of there as. They're pushing the bottom tower in, and they're going to keep this going, it looks like. Arachna's feeling pretty good with her farm, as she should be. Legion side definitely needs to defend this back. Swimplay doesn't have a TP, so I wonder if they picked up on that. That's why they're maybe trying to push right here. Now, he's been missing for a little bit, so. And maybe they just uh, probably think he bought a TP over at the side shop. Yeah. And he went a basher. Really, really, really basher. Um, not really sure how I feel about that. I feel like maybe going to Prosper and first into a, and a shroud might have been better this game but if he's actually able to get up into arachna's face and you know bash him first hit you know it's be a different story but it, it's it's kind of just an odd pick frostburn is so strong on the on swift blade and it's just such a core item in my opinion especially when he's the sole carry i mean this is exactly. not a team that's relying on anyone else to kind of carry he, <laughs> he's it so yeah brutalizer never not usually your best option unless it's a hero like a madman or something like that but it's uh I agree there. It's very, it is debatable whether or not that's going to – but at the same time, again, it's, it is that risk factor of, hey, if he gets that first hit bash, then it would make it worth it. But you're praying to the Han gods there, that 25% chance. If Wild Soul can get it in 10, then Swift Blade yeah. should get it in 25. True, true. <laughs> Congor, gonna it's going to be a 10 Yeah, they're going to try for it. I think they can get it too. I don't – they have complete vision around the pit. There's three wards of sights placed around it. Mm -hmm. They do have the red throat. Oh. Which, by the way, was just used. They spot a Luna here. They're trying to chase her out. And yet, they are going to be able to catch her. And down she goes. So, good pursuit. And now, with her dead, especially, they are going to go back to the Congre pit. Finished off. Yeah. No, it's never mind. Shit. Oh, they want to defend. Yeah, they're oh, not a bad assist. That middle tower goes down, actually, with them nearby. Spider's going to go on the slip blade. Meanwhile, Deadwood finds Pyromancer, gets a quick kill. Swift play TP's out. Spider's going to run all the way over there, at least try to, but he will be wow. fine. Deadwood again found, it, found the kill. On to Nier in the meanwhile. And it seems like him have been good. Again, we're just jumping into this game a little bit later on, but he's 6 2 and 6 here. He's had a pretty big impact. Yeah, with both Deadwoods you've seen today have had a pretty big impact in their games. Maybe that hero is finally making its combat. Maybe it was Swindle was right all these times. <laughs> <laughs> all these years, maybe he was right. Yep, I mean, yeah, he's. Obviously, he was uh, he's one of these other heroes that got a lot of attention with this latest balance patch, of course. And although it took a little bit more time for him than maybe some others. It was realized, and yeah, I, I think that's going to become more and more relevant yeah, as definitely. we move on here. The hero is just so good against strength heroes, and even good against, you know, not even being a strength hero. You know, when you punch someone, it's, it's a lot of damage. That just is instant, and if you have a team follow it up, you know, most of the time he's just going to die. Well, they're finally attempting that convoy. Going back into it, Arachna, the Blessed Orb, so the Geometer's Bane is coming along for him. Congor, it's definitely going to be one. The Legion, Le Legion side is not really curious to defend it. They, they do have a red power throw, not even really using that, though. Yeah, I, there's just no way they could ever defend that. So it's, it's just, you know, they need just a good team fight. You know, they have a good team fighting team with the Tempest and the Midas, and they have the PKs they need. So... Uh, even that token might not make the biggest impact for the Hellborn team. Mm -hmm. it, it just kind of depends on how big the Legion ultis are. And if they connect to Arachna with you know a Tempest Hole or Midas combo, whatever it is. Because he has no BKB. So it's just whatever it ends up being. Yeah. We got the 3,000 gold on Swift Blade. So again, going to be seeing here what he decides to go for in the near future. But uh, Drunken Master <laughs> looking pretty good himself. Yeah, and a DD on Arachnan, I don't think the Legion team wants to fight this whatsoever. They're just going to want to avoid this DD. They're going to take this tower real quick. Yeah, no point to try here even. This will be the last on our tower. No, the top one's still up actually. Not much life on it, but... Well, they are going to actually trade tier 2s here, so that's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, could be solid with that. I don't think Hellborn is backing right now. 
No TP on Arachne either. Well, he's gonna run back the old fashioned way. They do get some decent damage onto that base tower, you know. 800 damage is always nice. When you try to siege later, it's like, wow, well, there you go. That tower is already down almost to a half. Yeah, so as you're pointing out, I mean, really, that sequence of events right there, not too bad at all for Mystery Gang, considering what was going on. And hell, gold suggests this is saying yeah, a very close game. I was about to say, the game is really close. You know, it looks like, you know, ECX has the big advantage here. They really don't. It's one team fight could just instantly skew the game in any way. Yeah. So look at this here. With the three heroes up here. You got Swift Blade, Midas, and Tempest. Now, the thing with this, though, you, you don't want to be doing this for much longer. Cause yeah, and they don't even have vision out here. If they blind jump out of here, uh, it might not. Ooh. Okay. I'm not sure what their plan is now. Yeah. They're kind of three. I mean, this will end up working if they kind of smush them in together, but they don't have. Yeah, Swift Blade's deeping out. They really don't have vision up here, and it's. Okay. They just, just, I think they just saw all of them on the wave, so. Mm -hmm. Now they know they're okay. Parasite's in a creep up here, right? Uh, yeah, he's off to the side of the Skeleton King. Oh, okay. Back to middle lane, he's gonna catch Swift Blade. There he goes, but there's not really backup, though, so Swift Blade should be fine here. Yep. You... Maybe. Yes. Should be. Okay. I think he should be okay. Oof. And the Geobane was picked up on Swift Blade. Okay. That's a good pickup, I think. It's definitely good for the silence, you know. They have a lot of silence. They have the silence. Um, spider sting. It does not disjoint the spider, though, so... It, it doesn't disjoint actually, it, but it, it, it will help you kill it. Yeah, it'll help you get rid of it. So, I, really, it's just for the parasite. Um, yeah, the frostburn might have still been better. I'm not... I'm not sold on his items yet. I'm not, I'm not sold. Obviously, Geo is a great item just in general. You know, it's just a great item, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was the right item to pick up right now. Yeah, his path has definitely been a little unique for sure. He started with that Brutalizer and now the Geometer's Bane. Yeah, if he went, went more of the conventional Frostburn into the Assassin Shroud, it kind of feels like maybe it would be a little better off here for uh, yeah. Wolf's sake. But this, again, does have potential with that Brutalizer. It gets the Lucky Procs in there. Could pay dividends. Yeah, and there. The good news is, I was going to say, the, the, the good news is for the Legion team, they have a lot of, you know, Anti-push here, so they, they shouldn't be getting the tower push. Yep. Yeah, the split push is something that they're clearly having to deal with. Quite a bit is Evil Corporation. You see constantly once again right there, porting back as the top lane heavily pushed in by Swift Blade and Deadwood is also up here. Deadwood with a shrunken end, by the way. Uh, trying to make a play. I mean, the thing with having uh, Deadwood and also the Luna on the team, it's you always got to keep that in mind, the red power throw come in to help with that little bit of extra damage that can be the difference maker sometimes so you find somebody demonic breastplate finished on uh drunken master meanwhile huge item yeah, to have wow. here uh zane is doing a great job having a full demonic already it's big on him he got the Nine abyssal skull on parasite they have a lot of good items on their team they, they have good team fight items mm -hmm. So it, I think they want to fight. I don't, you know, the token's gonna go down. So they might actually wait, but they do have a good uh, team fighting items here. And Portal Cube just picked up my Parasite too. Where does Arachna go next? You think he, he's sitting on 3,400 gold now? Um, I'm thinking he might need a, an orb. So an orb effect, the morph attack. So maybe a symbol. Um. I don't think a Frost Wolf. Uh, either it could be a Wingboat too for the Swift Blade. Swift Blade won't get a Savage for a long time. Yeah. So, it, it, probably either a Symbol, Wingboat, or a, uh, even a Savage if he wants pure damage. I mean, he just got a DD. Oh boy. Oh, Shrunken. That's also a good choice. <laughs> well, the obvious item. Is, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Spider yeah. didn't even land in his deck. <laughs> I like how he used the spider. <laughs> it was just so it, unnecessary. It just threw it on him, and that was yeah. it. It's like a taunt almost. I mean, it's only a 30-second cooldown, so obviously That's not a huge true. deal at all. But It's not bad, dude. Just use it. Yeah, but the BKB was a good pickup. I didn't even uh, have the uh, Shrunken. It was a good pickup. Didn't really think about it, but yeah, in reality, it's well, it's a good item for the Midas. They do have a lot of magic, so it, it's still a good item. But He is getting it delivered while they push top. 
honestly don't know if I like the Shrunken in it, in it like that much. Get, well, uh, here we go. Oh. Hold that thought because a big red stun to start this. Now Devil trying to follow it up on Arachna. Arachna, though, those Plate of Griefs, no doubt helping. Barely stays alive. He will stay alive in the background. Meanwhile, the team support. Coming through as the Tempest Ultimate canceled immediately. Spider stings out on a Swift Blade. He goes down. Deadwood jumps back in and will eventually finish off Arachna. But he bought back to do so. He dies. One no, that wasn't a buyback. He just actually went back in. But he does die anyway. So, uh, I mean, killing Arachna at the end, obviously, pretty big news there. But I believe Swift Blade just bought back. Yes, he did. As did Midas going in here, who is now out of buyback. So, yeah, definitely a one fight for Evil Corporation, even despite losing Arachna there. Yeah, that was a big fight. Oh, he did not get his BKB for that fight either. Oh, that's big, yeah. Never actually got it delivered to him. So that's probably why he did die there, because I know he got hit by the Bitus combo, but if he had a BKB there, you know, it never would have hit him. True. Yeah, that didn't help. But, yeah, I mean, going back to that, though, it's, you know, I, looking at this Legion team, again, a Swift Blade, the Deadwood, you got Tempest, who obviously can still lock down easily through the shrunken head. So, And he already has the, the W, the Harding Carapace, which we were talking about before. You can now use it while you're stunned, say, by, like, the Tempest Stun or something like that. So I, I don't know if the Shrunken was actually that necessary. I think the Wingbow ultimately would have been more of a defensive tool, yet also a great offensive tool. So, but. Yeah, or even, like I said, even a symbol there might have been better. It's I don't think he really needs the BKB. It's really just Midas and, I mean, the Aluna Stun, but he should never be in range for the Aluna Stun anyways. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Either Symbol or Wingbow would have been 100% better, or even a Savage for the pure damage. Mm -hmm. And Shrunken Head was just finished on Deadwood. He's doing really well. Yeah, he's, again, it's, I know we didn't catch the earlier on, but it's safe to say he had pretty high impact, and stats showing that too, 7-3 and 7 middle lane action. Look at this, Envious as well, some build rod action. Magmus gonna stun in, find Swift Blade. Look at him falling shortly after the auto attacks. <laughs> the red stun from Aluna, oh. but he's so slow because of that, that spider, spider sting. He just oh cannot my. get away. It, Arachna must have been after the Swift Blade pick too. Cause, I mean, that really is yeah. still right there. He's so good against the Swift Blade for that alone. So uh, they're gonna keep pushing this. Swift Blade does use his final buyback, by the way, for this. Yep, and the power of Arachna against that Swift Blade, though. His ulti's already up again. Swift slashes, Geometer's Bane, a lot of illusion absorbing the, the damage. There's a Spider Sting again, and Swift Blade again falling. He will go down. This time he's not buying back because he's completely out of them, and Evil Corporation may have just broke through. And what otherwise has actually been a pretty back-and-forth game, apparently, here. But now Evil Corporation in a very comfortable spot. Going into about 37 minutes now. It's Arachna leading the way. So, yeah, we saw that. I mean, that that was really just something. The, the slow is insane, man. Oh, yeah, level 3 spider. What is it, 80% right? it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just 80% for five hits, and it's an attack speed. He just just can't move and without the right team support. And Tempest didn't ulti again. I think that's the second fight in a row he hasn't actually ultied. Oh, no, he ultied the base fight. So, yeah, okay. He did, yeah. So, he didn't ulti that fight, which is kind of... Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't help, but still, it's uh, even if you get a big Tempest Ultimate off, uh, you 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 have to worry about Parasite, of course, who's going to be waiting back to try to stop that most likely. And Drunken could possibly, depending on the positioning too. So, a couple of factors. I was there. actually just reprimanded by Love that you can actually disjoint the Drunken Master Q as well with Geos. So, two you can disjoint. So okay. I was just yelled at. <laughs> All right. Well, now we know. Thanks for now we know there's two things. So I guess it wasn't the absolute worst pick. Yeah. Pick up. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. But, I mean, really, no matter what he got here at this point, obviously, there's not, unless he gets like a Void Talos, man, there's nothing that really would have helped him here. Yeah. It's the Arachna. Other than having, you know, instead of finishing the Geos, maybe he should have went Shroud so he could have Invis on him without getting caught. So, I mean, maybe the Geos still was a waste of gold, and they're going to take another Congo here for free. And Genjuro was finished on Arachna, which is a good choice. Mobility around these fights will be really well, or really good for him. Not too bad to have. You got Shield Breaker level one on Drunken Master. Meanwhile, Magnus also had a lot of gold. Okay, Frostfield play. Wow. So he goes here. So. Wow. Oh. Yeah. One 
those for the team. Look at the top lane again. This this Legion side really trying to be sneaky over here. Magnus knows something's up though. If he uses that Frostfield plate, oh, I'm surprised he didn't. he didn't right there. I don't think he saw it. I mean, he knew think... like he was playing like he knew something was up. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't just use it to get the vision or even yeah. tablet through the trees or something. Might as well try it, but oh well. well maybe. It, eh. I don't think they're going to see this Midas. I don't think they'll expect it. Bottom lane. Magnus, line stun on both. They're going to quickly kill Tempest. Go for Deadwood. Well, not so quick, actually. That shrunken head helping, but in the end, he does fall. Deadwood will get away. Post haste even coming in, by the way. Actually, nope, going to be killed. <laughs> the puzzle box meaning to destroy the creep. Yeah. Was teleporting. I think uh -oh. that was Midas' top lane, actually. I think it was, too. And now he has no way out of there. Uh oh. He might want to just walk out. Yeah, I was going to say walk out and combo this wave. Oh. Oh, he's not. Okay. He's thinking about it. He's going to run from it. Okay. So That's he's fine. Um, so played, uh, I don't know if he, I don't think he bought anything. I think it's just his gold. Yeah, no, he's, he's yeah, he didn't buy anything. two buybacks, so. Yeah, that's right. He bought back twice. And Imboboy is just pushing the base. Another 3.3k gold saved up. Oh, another big red stun. But there's no fall. Oh. He's been on top of that Midas background. Kind of just... Saying hello and then falling back too, but the tower or the racks goes down. Look at that. The spider sting comes out of Luna. She does pop the Void Talisman and is able to kill it off with the teammate support. So good job there as a team. But now Arachnid is sitting on the range racks again with that token. She's just having a good time. They're just they're gonna let the range racks ultimately fall. Obviously the middle melee's already been killed too, so now they can just make their way bottom here and look to really secure it. Token still has 240 remaining on it, so still plenty yeah. of time here. They're probably gonna end up getting all their rashes out of this token. Well. <laughs> yeah, they may kill him, but again, it's just gonna it's kind of gonna... be helping them. Yeah. I'm surprised Imbo actually hasn't sold these armor boots yet and bought post haste or you know any other boots at this point. Because <laughs> you know, past like third, like 25 minutes, they kind of start, you know, like what's the point of these anymore? I think it's only like three or two armor, so. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I expect well, him to sell them. It's the self-armor, too, you got to keep in mind. I guess that's the true. five armor is actually pretty impactful. So I guess he's getting seven out of it. Yeah, eh, it's, it's, eh, yeah it's, it's not terrible to keep on, I guess. And de the only way he is going to die is a big Deadwood burst. And that's true. Like in so, there, yeah. So kind of prevents it is that. Worth it. But this job. Zane is incredibly farmed on Drunken. Yeah. Every time I watch him play, he just always has some sort of impact on the game. Yep, Zane's no doubt well, again continues to be one of the most just solid players. You can bank on him at least having a great game. Uh, always for Evil Corporation. So here we go, bottom lane. Final push very likely coming out here, and boy, do they need to do something quick, or else this is just going to be mega creeps. They, they're going to jump Drunken Master, but Arachne is just going to sit in the back. I'm pointing it right clicks. Dead with me, end up falling from it. Now she does go down, spinning Swift Blade. Takes care of that. He still has Swift Slashes, actually. Arach is in trouble. He's trying to run away right here. Swift Slashes doing a lot of damage. The Brutalizer procs coming out, and it will kill Arachna. So coming through in the end to kill her off. She does have a buyback, of course. She's going to force the rest down. They did get drunken on top of that. But uh, meanwhile, the top lane, yeah, you see the creep wave in the base. And they're going to have to port back to it. Tempest just didn't use his ulti that whole fight. I'm, I saw at least two or three opportunities. He could have blinked in and, you know, with his blink up and... Oh, chose wow. not to. So uh, that could have been a lot more and maybe could have saved their rack. Oh, they're going to collapse and so forth. And the last thing you do as a player that's behind like this is think that you're comfortable to be able to push out lanes like that, thinking that they actually fell back. We've seen so many times. <laughs> it's it's a fake fallback. Yeah. Enough for hanging around. They catch the play. He's not buying back. That really should secure it. I mean, Tempest, you mentioned he still has an ultimate. He's going to just charge in right here. Oh, never mind. He's not even going to use it. I thought he might have used it on a rack now, if anything, but he's chose not to. Yeah, I don't know what he's saving he it for. Uh, it's, it's, but, that, you know, let's be honest. So real? Wait, Arachnid just died? Oh my I'm God. so confused. How did he die? This whole team kind of just, like, abandoned him. Yeah. I'm so confused what just happened. We all just kind of sat there and watched him die. Kill the racks, get the mega creeps. Oh, <laughs> I can't even I do that. So I was so confused. <laughs> yeah. And my boy kind of just... I don't know. Abandon the Imba boy. They wanted to see if he could actually one versus five. You know what? If he was on Clanks, I'd say uh, that would yeah. already be done many times already. He is. I, I just. He finds so much farm everywhere on the map. I just don't know how he does it. Yeah. 
Well, okay, so there's still hope here for Mystery Gang, is all that really says, because they, they don't have to deal with they the Mega Creeps, tracks. at least. They have a range drag, so that's yeah. what matters. Once those Other Mega than... Creeps come out, especially after the change of the speed and everything, I mean, you're, you're not coming back. <laughs> that is, they've made it impossible for you to come back once Mega Creeps happen. Which, I mean, it's sad because, you know, in a lot of games, you can come back from Mega Creeps, but when they're pressuring you that hard, it's just impossible. Yeah, I mean, we, we obviously we don't have many Mega Creeps game, Mega Creep games, uh, the competitive history, and but the ones that we have seen, I mean, I, I will say there's never been one that really has like had an actual chance. I feel like even before that change, so um, that's true. But I, I, I do agree for for the sake of like like why, because it's like if that wasn't happening, I, I mean, I'm sure there's obviously good logic behind it, but yeah, I, I kind of wish it wasn't changed either, but. It is it what it is. It makes a lot harder. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Now. Sheepstick oh. Magmus. He's baiting this, I assume. Here comes Pyromancer. Oh, well, baiting to death here. Although Drunken Master getting there pretty late. Going to end up leaping onto Midas in the back. Oh, look at how wow. quickly he's going to drop Midas right there. Tempest is dead shortly after, too. Still hasn't used the hole. The Arachna comes in and down goes Aluna. Yep, still no Tempest Ultimate here these last several fights now. Uh, he does buy back. I mean, he doesn't have a shrunken though this time. But you know, I just want to see him use it. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's what go. I'm talking about. He was oh, waiting for the perfect moment, and it doesn't it. matter. <laughs> it was almost the dream. It was almost. It was 20 minutes was too late. Good. Well, yeah, at least he did it. That was, that was a fun finish there. At least he saw it. We yeah. saw the whole I mean. Mystery again, though, again, for a team that's new to Diamond here, they, they finally were able to get in, and um, they've had to grind through gold for so long at the first three cycles, and a team that we thought was even going to qualify from the beginning, coming up short. So it's good to see them in Diamond, but clearly they're, they're going to have to get now a little bit of practice in it and, you know, hope for their sake that, you know, if they end up finishing bottom two, which is very possible, especially at this rate, that they, they win their relegation match, whichever they – or whoever they end up matching up against. But um, – they they did compete earlier on in this in this game at least, and that's at least got to be a good feeling for them. Yeah, especially so. going against ECX, who you know, like I said, is arguably the number one and two teams with complexity right now. So, anytime you could take you know one of the best teams to their limit is always what you want. This is only the third match also that they they've now played. So they, in they still yeah they they still have plenty oh, they have more a lot to of go. The cycle. Yeah okay. So yeah they 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 could still qualify or, yeah. or not get relegated. That 